Magnitude 1.7 earthquake occurred beneath New York City in the early morning hours of January 2nd, and it's wreaked a little bit of havoc. Now, before all of you West Coasters like roll your eyes and scroll away, let me explain. So it was pretty early in the morning and people, mainly on Roosevelt Island, like heard this loud bang and then they felt some shaking. And so it makes a lot of sense that if you live in New York and you hear a loud noise and there's some shaking, that it could be an explosion. So folks were calling the fire department, they were calling the police, the police and everybody are showing up and there's no evidence of an explosion. And come to find out there was this little earthquake uh, beneath Astoria. And so it was pretty shallow, it was pretty small, and turns out people heard it as well as felt it. And this isn't actually uncommon. This has happened in New York City before. It happened in Buffalo, New York. There was an earthquake there uh, in February of 2023. People heard it as well as felt it. There was an earthquake in Glens Falls, New York in 2020 that people heard as well as felt. There's this place in Connecticut, which is to the northeast of New York, called Moodus. And Moodus is actually short for a native word, Machi Moodus, which means place of noises. And there's a lot of little earthquakes there that you can actually hear. And so I talk about that in my video in Connecticut. You can go and watch that if you're interested in learning more. So it's not out of the question for people to hear small, shallow earthquakes as well as feel them, or sometimes maybe not even feel them. So are earthquakes beneath New York City common? I mean, no, but they do happen. There was a magnitude 2.4 and a magnitude 2.6 in 2001. There was a magnitude 0.8 and 0.6 in 2004, and there was a 0.9 in 2019. Earthquakes also happen, you know, across the state of New York. This is a map behind me from the U.S. Geological Sur uh, Survey showing earthquakes that have happened in New York since 1900. Now, it's not just small earthquakes that happen in New York. There have been magnitude 5.2s recorded there in the past, and New York also gets shaken by earthquakes from outside its borders. So if you live in New York, that is earthquake country. Don't be scared, be prepared. Drop cover and hold on if you ever feel earthquake shaking. I also wanna take this opportunity to say like why it's important to um, not just read headlines. Let me show you an article that came out yesterday. So the headline here is explosions shaking on Roosevelt Island caused by New York City earthquake. When I read that, I think there were explosions caused there as well as shaking. But if you go down and read even just a little bit of the article, a rare earthquake rattled part of the Big Apple early Tuesday, prompting some shaken residents to mistake the tremor for an explosion. So they say like right up front, like it was actually the earthquake, not an explosion. So like, buyer beware when it comes to big media. Always make sure to check your sources, read multiple articles to make sure that you're getting the full story and don't be misled by clickbait headlines like this one.